The year was 1972. Apollo 17 was set to be the final mission of NASA's Apollo program. It was a time of both celebration and reflection. Humanity was about to take its last steps on the lunar surface for a very long time. Little did we know that Apollo 17 would uncover a mystery that would linger long after the astronauts returned to Earth. This mission was unique for several reasons. It marked the first and only time a professional geologist, Harrison Schmidt, was part of the crew. His expertise would prove invaluable in understanding the moon's complex geology. The mission also targeted the Taurus Littrow Valley, a region believed to hold clues to the moon's early history. Excitement and anticipation rippled through mission control as the mighty Saturn V rocket roared to life, propelling the Apollo 17 crew skyward. The crew of Apollo 17, Commander Eugene Cernan, Lunar Module Pilot Harrison Schmidt, and Command Module Pilot Ronald Evans were prepared to embark on a journey for the ages. They had no idea they were about to stumble upon something truly extraordinary, something that would challenge our understanding of the moon and our place in the cosmos. Nestled along the southeastern edge of the Sea of Serenity lies the Taurus Littrow Valley. Ringed by towering mountains and sculpted by ancient volcanic activity, this valley was chosen for its potential to unlock secrets of the moon's formation and evolution. The valley's landscape is a captivating tapestry of light and shadow. It is a place of rolling hills, deep craters, and vast plains blanketed in lunar dust. It was a challenging environment that demanded the astronauts navigate with precision and skill. Their lunar rover would allow them to cover more ground and conduct more in-depth scientific studies. The mission's primary objectives included collecting lunar samples, deploying scientific instruments, and studying the unique geological features of the region. Taurus Littrow Valley promised to reveal new insights into the moon's volcanic past and the processes that have shaped its surface over billions of years. Upon landing, Cernan and Schmidt wasted no time in deploying their lunar rover and setting off to explore the alien landscape. Traversing the lunar surface was like moving through a dream. The rover kicked up plumes of moon dust that hung in the airless environment, creating an otherworldly spectacle. The astronauts marveled at the stark beauty of the lunar surface. The absence of an atmosphere lent an eerie clarity to the surroundings, making distant mountains appear deceptively close. The sun's harsh light cast long, inky shadows, adding to the surreal and alien ambiance. Despite the breathtaking scenery, driving the rover had its share of challenges. The uneven terrain, littered with craters and boulders, demanded constant vigilance. The rover's navigation system was rudimentary by today's standards. The astronauts relied on landmarks and careful planning to avoid getting lost in the lunar wilderness. Part 4. A Startling Discovery on EVA-2 it was during their second extravehicular activity, or EVA, that something truly extraordinary occurred. As Cernan and Schmidt ventured further from the lunar module, they spotted something unusual glinting in the sunlight. It was a sight that would be forever etched in their memories. There, amidst the rocks and dust, lay an object that seemed utterly out of place. It was a smooth, metallic sphere, about the size of a grapefruit. It appeared to be perfectly spherical, with no visible seams or markings. The astronauts were intrigued. What was this enigmatic object doing on the surface of the moon? Cernan radioed back to mission control, his voice a mixture of excitement and disbelief. We've got something interesting here, he reported. It looks like a, a large metallic sphere. It's almost perfectly round. Those words crackling across the vast expanse of space sent a ripple of astonishment through mission control. Scientists and engineers huddled together their faces a mixture of bewilderment and curiosity. Part 5. Whispers from the Lunar Past The discovery of the metallic sphere sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Theories abounded, ranging from the mundane to the extraordinary. Some scientists speculated that it was a meteorite, while others suggested it might be a piece of space debris. However, the sphere's perfect shape and lack of any impact craters made these explanations seem unlikely. The astronauts carefully collected the object, sealing it in a special container to prevent contamination. It was to be brought back to Earth for further analysis. 
Back on Earth, the sphere was subjected to a battery of tests. Its composition was analyzed, its surface scanned for markings, and its internal structure probed with X-rays. But despite the best efforts of scientists, the sphere remained an enigma. The mystery of the metallic sphere captured the public's imagination, fueling speculation about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Could it be an artifact left behind by an ancient alien civilization? Or was it a natural phenomenon that we simply didn't yet understand? The possibilities were both tantalizing and unsettling. 